Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. It's a new month, and it means we have a new Marvel Collector Core. It's one of the numerous geeky boxes out there. This one from Marvel and Funko. Now, unlike the other boxes, this only comes out every other month, so you have to wait in between. But what's cool is everyone clearly has a theme about it. This one, what a shocker, is Spider-Man. So this box does whatever it can. Let's crack open and show off what's inside. Now, since it is... Marvel and Funko related, you can imagine that there's a lot of Pops items. There is usually all exclusives, which I think is really, really cool. But let's open this up and show off what's inside. First, we need to actually get this box open. There we go. Okay. First things first, uh, something I really, really enjoy about the Funko boxes is that they have these neat items straight up. So you get buttons, you get patches that you can only find in here. And this one, of course, is Spider-Man related, so we've got the Collector Core Spider-Man patch and a pretty nice button. Now, uh, the buttons, a lot of them are kind of chintzy that various companies do. But these are really, really high quality ones. Um, you know, you can do some damage with it. It's It's got some heft. All right, opening up, we're gonna show off what's inside. Now, they've been adding this little handy cheat sheet of what you can find in the boxes, which is really cool, and I like it because what it does is actually gives you more background about the items. There's usually some background information about how they went about the design, maybe different alternative takes on something that they did that they didn't actually use. Uh, it's really, really cool. It's something that is, um, it, it adds tons to the box. So first and foremost, on top of the box, we've got a Spider-Man comic book. Amazing Spider-Man Collector Course is number 16, variant edition. Of course, it's got the Funko uh, branded look to it. Now, I've said it a million times over, I'm not the biggest pop fan, but to just get variant comics, I'm a huge fan of those, so no complaints there. Uh, you know, this, of course, is going into the collection. You can only get it in this box, so uh, really nice. Most of these boxes seem to have variants of that sort, but we're going to go to the pop since we're going to go off the thing that I tend to dislike the most. Uh, and this one's actually pretty cool. I got to give some props to it. It's got a really neat design. We have Spider-Man doing his iconic thwip little thing going on, and he's leaping in the air, so there's a base for him to stand on. Uh, while normally I'm not the biggest fan of pops, I do like this one. It's it's just a cool pose. It's a cool look. I like it. It look, It's nice. Um, so a little facts about it. Uh, this is the 10th Spider-Man pop created, but the first and only leaping pose Spider-Man pop on a flying stand in the line from Funko. Um, you know, the little cheat sheet shows off the, the color choices that they have to do, uh, the original sculpt, and then, of course, the final product and pack packaging that you can see right there, and it's got the nice sticker that this is an exclusive. So, pretty solid. I like it. Thumbs up from me. Uh, next, we're going with much bigger. We've got a Fabrication Spider-Man. Fabrications, I only have a couple of these in my collection. I, I kind of dig them a bit more than the Funko. I mean, they're basically pop figures that are blown up and squishy. Uh, they're not quite plush figures, but they're not quite Funkos either. So the Fabrication is, uh, they decided to save this Fabrication from the original line right before they launched because they thought it would be the perfect addition to this box. Uh, this is the largest item they've included in the box so far. It's so large they had to reconfigure the size of the box several times in order to fit it. Again, they show the concept, they show the color in their little cheat sheet. I think it's pretty neat. Uh, so this is the final product shown off. I don't know if this is necessarily an exclusive, but I believe... Oh, no, yep. Right there, right on top, exclusive. That answers my question. So, pretty cool item. Uh, finally, this is actually... A box that doesn't have quite as much as the rest. We've got a hat, uh, another exclusive. As I said, everything in the box is exclusive. Notice the keyword, exclusive. This one, I actually kind of like it. Uh, so this is a new product. It's the first they did. It's scarves in a few boxes back that uh, I actually wear out and get complimented on. Uh, this is a hat. So it's got Spider-Man in his kind of Funko look. I kind of dig it. Uh, I'm not going to lie on that one. I'm not uh, the biggest fan of the Funko design in general, like the pop figures. But there's something about the hat that I think is cute. I like it. Uh, the fact that it's gray, it's got the black, uh, bl black or bluish, whatever, I'm slightly colorblind, uh, rim, looks nice to it. And the quality of me just actually holding it, it feels like it's a nice hat. And then on the back, you've got a uh, Spider-Man logo. Uh, they've got this really cool design. Looked like there was maybe some alternates that they were doing. Um, 
yeah, some alternate designs. There's like a black design on the sheet. Uh, kind of neat. So the other thing, it's got Marvel and Pop on the bottom. Uh, you know, I'm not always the biggest fan of providers kind of pushing themselves on this, but it's unlike Nerdblock where they have got their URL on some of their t-shirts. Uh, this with the Slate Pop logo, I don't have as much of a problem. There's not as much, you know, there's no difference between that and having a New Era logo on the side of a cap. It doesn't have the URL. I just, I hate the URL. I think it just looks stupid on, on products. Uh, so going over everything, well, finally, before we do that, as with all the boxes, I really got to give them to the credit. It's the details in the boxes you can see inside. It's tons of Spider-Man comic images that I think look really, really solid and uh, great. So... Yeah, nice little addition. So going over again, we've got these items. We have the hat, which looks good. The pop figure, the fabrication, and then the comic to top it all off. Uh, so again, these boxes come out every other month. I want to say they're about $50 a box. Uh, if you want yours, you can order at the link below, and you'll get yours in two months. And what the what will that be? be Doctor Strange. Of course it'll be Doctor Strange. Be close to the release of the film, so they tend to time things uh, for their movie releases. So pretty solid work in that. I imagine we'll probably get more Funko Pops. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say there will be an astral form uh, figure of something, but that's just a guess. So if you're a Doctor Strange fan, uh, this is going to be one box you're going to need to get and should get. Uh, so thanks for watching, as always. Uh, this has been Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. You can catch us every single day at graphicpolicy.com. Of course, we're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. As I said, uh, if you'd like your own, you can go and use the link and get your own Marvel Collector Core and start collecting. I think it's a must-have for Marvel fans. It's one of the best boxes uh, if that's your thing. So until next time, as always, thanks for watching, and much appreciated. Keep it geeky.